Hello everyone and welcome on this on-demand webinar on 2020 Design Live, most specifically on Easy Render. My name is Santiago Morales and I'm the 2020 Design Live product manager. So today's session we're going to learn a bit more about Easy Render, what are its benefits, uh, what are the additional or simplified controls that we've done in within the rendering engine. We're going to talk also about lighting, lighting. How does it function within easy, within easy render, and how to get the most out of your projects so that they show best into easy render. And we're also going to touch base a bit as to what's coming in the next release and upcoming releases. All right, let's get to it. So easy render. We wanted to get best rendering quality for you guys. So with less, less pixelization, more realistic material, so to create more photo look, uh, photo like output. And we also wanted to make sure that we hit those textures and those colors so they appear more closer to the manufacturer one to get out of the uh, manufacturer firm. So specifically, white cabinets to appear white in this case. Okay, we also focus on our, our attention on the high quality renderings and how how much time they took to generate. So we've improved the performance, and you might ask how much? Well, it's closer and as much as 80% faster. So a really game, game changer for you guys in rolling out those projects as fast as possible and closing those deals as fast as possible. Okay, list of uh, benefits, here they are. So faster and easier to set up a project to render. So it's there's much less overhead to set up a room uh, with lighting than we used to do with the legacy version of 2020 design. So an example is the HQ rendering are closer to real-time renderings. Okay, So when you set up lighting within your perspective, they'll appear closer to the high quality render, which was somewhat of a hit and miss process with the legacy version of 2020 design. Okay, Number two, as I've mentioned, uh, easy render provides faster perspective rendering, faster high quality renderings, and of course, faster 360 panoramic images. What do you get at the end? Better looking renderings with no pixelization, better presentation of colors, and of course, better white balance for those hard to get white cabinets. Okay, cool. Now let's take um, let's take it with the with respect to the simplified controls. For that, let's go into 2020 design. Here I have 2020 design open. Uh, for those of you, uh, I recommend you go to the latest version, which is the one that we've um, released, the, the official release of the Easy Render, and this is 12.4. So how do you validate that you have the latest release? Into help about, you get this uh, version that's displayed right in front of you. So 12.4.16.86 is the latest release available to the market. So two things you require is the latest release. And you also need to make sure that you have a 2020 Design Live subscription license. How do you validate that? Onto your license here on the right hand side of 2020 Design, you can click on the pull down menu. And over here, you'll, you'll identify right away that you have 2020 Design Live subscription license. Cool. Now let's go and talk about the simplified controls. So here I have my perspective. I have a quick a small kitchen that I have with an elevation view. And already you can see that my rendering looks great. In terms of control, if I go into the light bulb here, you'll see right away that my light mode is composed of two controls. The sun, which has in control, you still have the flexibility to set it on and off and move the location of the sun and have it change uh, directly within the perspective. And you also have, I'm just going to leave it one second for it to render. Here we go with the sun effect. Go back to the light bulb into the scene. And now you'll see that I have simplified controls within the scene tab as well. I have an ambient light intensity, which I can revert back and you see the effect that it produces in perspective. Essentially the ambient light controls the amount of light that comes in from doorways. So in this case, uh, windows and door, patio doors or doorways. Okay. So a little second for it to refresh and you can appreciate by the same time, the speed at which it renders this image. 
And finally, the scene also has a control for user light intensity. So these are lights that you place directly on your projects, whether they're menu place from the room uh, for catalog or are soon to come in the next release in 12.5 you'll be able to have cloud items emit light as well. So any lamp from the cloud will actually have an effect in the perspective view as well. Cool, a bit more on that as we go through this presentation. The next topic I'd like to discuss with you guys is the additional controls that we've put for the post-processing of images. So these are now available within the effects tab of the perspective view. So we used to have the file, controls the render and now we have this effect tabs which provides additional control. I'm going to expand this a little more so you can appreciate more all the controls that we have now within the easy render. Now on the left hand side I have my filter controls. So these are filters that I can readily apply to my render image. So as you can see they're pretty much instantaneous so if you're looking to have a cool effect while you uh, prepare your presentation package for your customer you can apply these effects really and quite easily. Okay I'm going to reset this to none and focus your attention on the right hand side of the filter uh, effects tab. Now I have controls for the brightness, the contrast, the shadow hilex, the color temperature, and the saturation. So these are slider, easy to use. So if you want to provide more brightness or more intensity of your scene, you can play with these as well as, as you have controls for the control of the, ca the contrast and the color temperature. If you're looking for something a bit more warm or a bit more cool, you still have the control with the sliders. Or if you're looking for something that has no color at all, you can reduce the saturation to zero to come out with a clear black and white rendering. So all these controls are available, to, and as you can see, they're pretty much instantaneous because they're applied directly on the rendered image. If you'd like to play with it, there's, there's also a reset button that resets, reshifts all the sliders to the default location. Okay? I like to, to draw now your attention to the center, which I have the pick white point and the pick black point. So this is this is to make a, a, a specific pixel in your screen to be your reference for white or a black point. So if I go and demonstrate this for you, I have this back of my island, which close which is close to be white. But if you want to guarantee, if you want to specifically define this pixel to white, I can simply click and with this now it becomes white and it rebalanced the whole scene accordingly. So for those of you who are looking for the whitest of white cabinets or, or, or countertop, you can do this with the pick white point button. Again, if you'd like to just experiment, you please remember you can also reset it back to its default settings. Cool. Going back to the slide deck, we're going to talk a bit about lighting. Okay, how do you how do you get the most out of Easy Render? Well, first of all, one thing you need to uh, focus on is that in order to get the best looking rendering, we strongly recommend to have the most natural light into your scene. Okay, so how do you get natural light? You get natural light through windows doorways, uh, and, and any portals that provide access to the lights. Through these same portals, the light comes in into your room. And this is how you get better looking rendering. So if you notice here, on my floor plan, I have completing my, my, my project, not only for the two walls that have cabinet, but I've closed it up and made sure, as I mentioned, to have windows and doorways into my project. This creates additional light. So I'm just going to demonstrate to you if I'm about to this to remove all my door, my lighting or my natural light. In this case, I'm going to remove my windows at the back here. You'll see that my lighting of my perspective has dramatically changed. Why? Because I have limited uh, lights coming into my room. If I could take it a step further and remove my window in the back, you'll see that it's still very dark. 
okay? Because easy render, trying to maximize the natural light before adding auto light. When is it do I have auto light? Well, when there are actually no portals or no windows and doorways into my project, which I'll do right away. So in this case, there are no natural light coming to my project. You'll see in a second that easy render compensates and, uh, and puts additional auto light along the walls. So these are the light effects that coming all across your wall to your project. Okay, this is how you get uh, auto light to come in. So before using auto light, we strongly recommend you take advantage about of, of natural lighting, and that's by adding the right uh, portals such as windows and doors. So let me just revert back to my original design and put back those windows and doors see the light effect come into play and, and therefore achieving better natural scene um, perspectives. Okay, cool. And again, if I want to play with the sliders, I can further increase the brightness of my scene, as you see, or play with the contrast as well to have it more crisp color definition. Cool. All right, on to my next topic. We're gonna talk about some examples that we got. Oh, some examples that we got from the field. Okay. Uh, in this case, uh, users were mentioning that it, in this the scene here, my island comes in very dark. Now that we've understand how easy render works, there's only one portal, and this is the doorway here on the left. On the right hand side, I've we've we have omitted a wall. Omitting a wall does not allow for light in. Only the natural light can come in from the one portal here that, that's accessible. So my recommendation here to complete or have a better looking rendering is to complete the room, perhaps adding the actual wall that's missing. Perhaps it has an actual window and perhaps there's actually doorway also accessible here that will change dramatically the scene and therefore make it appear more brighter. And if you still have some challenges, you can add a simple spotlight here on the top, and this will also bring in more light from the user lights. Cool. Let's go back here. So easy render. Easy render, uh, it's, it's the main rendering engine produced by 2020, and it's been used across multiple platform of 2020. So this is the effort to centralize all the effort and the team so that we get the most out of feedback from our customers. Um, so any bug fixes or features implementation will benefit all of our platform at the same time. Okay. What's coming soon? So I'm very excited about this. Uh, we're also gonna work more in terms of lighting. We're gonna bring in artificial lights. So those of you who are looking for easy render or rendering um, being lit up more easily, not necessarily looking for more natural lighting, but more artificial lighting. We'll bring in these uh, the artificial lights in an upcoming release. We're also going to improve uh, the noising or the granularity of some Im images with an improved denoiser. Number three, cloud lights to emit light. As I mentioned, the next release will have all the lights from the cloud uh, be able to em emit light into uh, rendering so these are perspective and of course high quality images so this is a long overdue functionality that we finally got around to have it implemented in and it will be ready in 12.5 number four save favorites effect settings so as i mentioned these effect settings there's there's going to be a possibility in an upcoming release to save these settings so if you're happy to, to have the shadow highlights at a certain slider position or the color temperature at another different uh, position, you can save all these settings at will and replay it or reapply them into another project. Okay, so that's coming soon. And finally, we have an in focus effects that's down in the backlog. So the capability to have some areas of this uh, of the scene or perspective to be in focus and some other in out of focus. So here are some examples of this. In this case, these are real photography where I could have this bowl in focus and the rest to be out of focus. How does it look into a kit in a kitchen? 
This is one example. Here in the back is in focus, where the items closer to the point of view are a bit out of focus, blurry. Okay, so why are we doing this? So of course, this is a dramatic effect. So if you try, want to draw your attention in a specific area of your kitchen, this will pop up more and sell your project uh, much more. Another example, where in this case is the reverse effect, where I have the background being blurred and the items closer to the viewpoint in focus. And of course, my effects can still be applied in this capability where I can apply this in the black and white renderings by removing all the color with the saturation slider. Cool. So if you need any other type of information material, please be mindful that we have tons of it available on our 2020 Spaces webpage, there's, where there's training available, whether they're online or um, in-class training. We have a few available also. We have a ton of our knowledge uh, articles available on 2020spaces.com. And of course, we have the community, which is a forum of composed of many users who ask questions and have them answered by other users, and including the customer success team. Okay, make sure to follow us on social for weekly tips and tricks. Uh, so these are a couple of hashtags, hashtags tip two. Tip Tuesday, hashtag Knowledge Wednesday, and hashtag Sunday Reading. Okay, so this is the end of my pre presentation. My name again is Santiago Morales, and uh, don't hesitate to reach us on 2020spaces.com. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.